right so after the first video that is index of your grade uh, that is unit 2 chapter of grade 10 that is acids bases and salts let us start with the first topic of the chapter acids bases and their physical properties right so before learning or before understanding the concept of the definitions textbook wise or this one let us first generally see what actually are this so here uh, students let's see basically if you take your house environment inside your house very near to you all around you know three or four rooms around you almost i'll challenge you almost you'll have five to six more, more than that rather more than that chemicals which you're using let's see that first of all the first acid which we have in our stomach what is the acid which is in stomach there's nothing but hcl isn't it so the chemistry starts from your body only all the chemical reactions which are happening during your digestion during your respiration during everything is involved or there is a certain chemical reaction or a chain of chemicals which are being released a lot of energy or the ATPs which are released so a lot of chemistry is involved in a human body so HCl is one acid which we have known next comes when we go to the inverter which is there in the house that has which acid sulfuric acid so one more chemical which is nearby as i said two to three or uh, three to four rooms around next comes when i go into a refrigerator inside the refrigerator you have one more chemical that is a fruit salt or the eno which we'll use it as an antacid yes or no yeah next let us come back to on your table on your table you have vinegar or acetic acid you would have seen your mom adding vinegar as a preservative vinegar or the dilute acetic acid is is used is in the pickles also so that is one more chemical which you are using one more let me see yes so one more thing is your soft drink in your refrigerator as soon as you open your soft drink bottles what gases evolve it's nothing but carbon dioxide gas yes so carbonic acid is acid which is used in in your soft drinks or the fizzy drinks one more chemical i think i have listed of four or five one more acid which is there in your refrigerator it's nothing but in your tomatoes yeah Ta your, your, okay there is tamarind that is citric that oh, if i have to say tomato tartaric acid is there in that you have lemons in your refrigerator where you have citric acid in that just see students the whole world you know everywhere it has it is you know there's a usage of a base as a chemical right so acids are those first important concept which i said acids are those substances which are sour in taste but remember never ever taste Could natural things suppose let us take a, a lemon what acid does it have as i said lemon has an acid called citric acid lemon juice okay let me uh, speak about different different sour things like grapes oranges all these what do they have oranges all these they are sour in taste because of which uh, which one because of a presence of an acid that is citric acid so lemon juice grape juice or oranges when you see what taste do you feel you feel they are sour so what is the acid present in that as i said just nothing but citric acid so citric acid so with this concept let me start with the first definition acids are those substances which are sour in taste the first physical property of acid is sour in taste done ma'am i know one definition so let us sh shall we write it in the form of a definition yes so here if you want me to write the definitions or examples everything i'll write first we'll learn the definition then come back to that so now first concept which i understood is under acids acids are sour in taste sour in taste this is the first definition now when i have to come to the basis now i have given you many examples in the form of acids around you as i said in your house only two to three rooms i have given acids now i'll give you examples of the basis just see the first base which you have here as i said inside your refrigerator the magnesium hydroxide which you add act or use it as an antacid next calcium hydroxide where okay washing soda which you use it for your washing machine baking soda which you use it in the refrigerator for means you keep it in your refrigerator for baking cakes pastries fluffy bread yes students bleaching powder calcium oxychloride which you use it as a detergent yes students next you also have ammonia which they use it in cosmetics also but it's a heavy heavy high ammonium hydroxide strong this one which will bleach of everything yes students so so many bases are included uh, in your daily life even salts also sodium bicarbonate is a salt calcium oxychloride is a salt 
so bases and salts are many chemicals which are used but remember bases never try to taste it even in the lab bases are bitter to taste base stands for bases are bitter to taste so acids are sour to taste is one physical property bases are bitter to taste done so now i understood acids are these bases are these ma'am how will i should i experiment testing it nothing students remember an acid there are again two categories one would be a strong acid and a weak acid base strong base and weak base remember in the lab when you're performing certain experiments don't try to test it with your tongue because the tongue you never know the sensitivity of the tongue immediately that may create a hole or a blister on your tongue also on your body that's why we we pre say try using lab coats so acids are sour to taste bases are bitter to taste that's why whenever you're performing an experiment in the lab you need to take a dropper or a pipette to transfer the things okay students so once again let us sum up acids are many which we are using citric acid carbonic acid sulfuric acid hydrochloric acid right tartaric acid xyz lot when it comes to the bases magnesium hydroxide calcium hydroxide ammonium hydroxide ammonia let us come to the salts bleaching powder ble so washing soda baking soda baking powder so many sodium chloride so many are there right now when i have come come to the next physical property of acids basically according to the examination point of view see as i said now suppose i have a paper called litmus paper now ma'am what is litmus paper so basically litmus is that uh, substance which is obtained from a uh, this one called lichen okay lichen or what see when you see on the surface of a tree suppose there is a tree or roots on the trunk of the tree you find white white sort of uh, in, um, small small outgrowths which are present in the surface of the trunk or roots those white outgrowth or the white substances which grow on the surface are the lichen plants so what they do they take out they extract that lichen powder they mix it with water then it becomes that white substance which uh, when you mix it with water we call it as litmus solution so litmus is an indicator which is obtained from where from lichen let us write that so litmus is an indicator which i obtain it from lichen so lichen is a plant which is present in the surface of the roots present in the surface of the trunks so it's mostly found in south america norway sweden and all these areas lichen's population or the growth is more so that i take this or collect that scrape out i mix it with water so this becomes which solution litmus solution so litmus solution is one category where i can use it whether the particular substance is an acid or a base next thing litmus instead of litmus solution they prepare litmus papers also so there are two varieties of litmus papers they are red litmus paper and blue litmus paper so the te second test would be with litmus paper so now i told you the story from where i got litmus paper i got it from lichen plant lichen plant will be present on the roots or the trunk of the trees i take that scrape it and mix it with water and it becomes litmus solution or they prepare litmus papers red and blue suppose this litmus paper there are two varieties as i said red and blue remember when i take an acid when i take that and the litmus paper if i take a red litmus paper and dip it suppose this is a test tube here let me draw okay so this is a test tube i am dipping red litmus paper now i have which one i have an acid called dilute hcl in this so when i dip a red litmus paper remember the litmus paper should be moist then only it will work right so the red litmus paper when you dip in hcl red remains red only so what is the conclusion in acids the red litmus paper remains red done same thing if i take a blue litmus paper and i dip it in a test tube which has dilute hcl so in dilute hcl remember moist litmus paper in the blue litmus paper in acids will turn red 
so the concept is red litmus paper in acids is red blue litmus paper in acids is red so finally the conclusion red would be the color of litmus in acids done same concept i come here so second thing i am going to take a red litmus paper and dip it in a test tube containing sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide is a base ma'am why base because the substances which are oh minus ions are bases let us take, take some examples sodium hydroxide calcium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide barium hydroxide so many number ammonium hydroxide so whichever is oh ions we call it as a base now what am i going to do i'm going to take the red litmus paper moist it means i get wet it and then dip that moist red litmus paper into sodium hydroxide solution so remember here in acids red litmus was red only but in bases red litmus paper is going to turn into blue the indication of the base is blue now the same way around i am going to take a blue litmus paper and again take sodium hydroxide in this and i am going to dip this blue litmus paper into this i said in base blue litmus paper remains blue so the color of the base is blue now let us take out everything and write fresh and neat so for my understanding for a litmus test what should i remember in the exam i have to remember when it is red in a test in an exam for acids if it is red litmus paper it remains red only if it is a blue litmus paper it is going to turn red the other way around if i have to understand in bases blue litmus turns red okay correct no blue litmus remains blue and red litmus turns blue so the color of the acid is red the color of the base is blue in color so that, that's a physical test of the acid turn students yes now after this next concept you have to remember whenever acids are means like i have to say acids i need to test it chemically there are a lot of tests but when i have to test directly when i see or when i uh, touch that particular acid and see so i said be very careful never acids or bases should be touched directly with your hand yes students done so here they may be corrosive it eat up this also may be corrosive that means they'll eat up the surface next thing acids are classified into two categories which i'll be testing with a paper called i'm writing here that is ph paper physically i'm going to see i'm not going to do any chemical reactions so ph paper is that which will explain me whether the acid is strong or weak so ph paper will decide the two classes of acids that is the first category is a weak acid and the second category is a strong acid strong acid so weak acid and strong acid same thing the ph paper is going to explain me whether the acid or the base is weak base or whether the base is strong base so these are the physical properties simple things i have to remember what is the taste of that i have to remember how does it respond to the litmus paper i should also remember what are what does how does they respond to the ph paper yes students simple very nothing no logic it's simple basic direct questions now next important thing if i have to ask one more question little bit into the topic if they ask you what is the ion which is present in the acid ma'am how can it be physical property you're going into the formula just for your information acids are those substances which will have h plus ion or h3o plus ion hydronium ions or h plus ions bases are those substances which have oh minus ions yes students done so please note it the physical properties of acids base acids and bases i'll be gradually going into little bit more into the topic that is we'll be learning about indicators where i'll be teaching you about natural indicators olfactory indicators acid base indicators and universal indicators in my next video so as of now remember the definition remember the litmus test remember the ph test and also remember what does it contain 
amine acids are H plus or H3O plus. So what is H3O plus ion? Hydronium ion. What is it called? Hydronium ion and OH minus is hydroxyl ion. Right? Let me come back and meet you with the next video.